Well, there was there was two factors. Uh, one, I was reading Gary Will's book, Nixon Agonistes, uh, in uh, which he was talking about Natty Bumpo shrewdness and bird. He made a, two or three references to Natty Bumpo in the, in the book. And, it was, basically, it was not just about Nixon, it was about American politics in general and how Nixon manipulated them. Very good political book. And uh, I'd never heard of Natty Bumpo, and I was working on the copy desk of the Chicago Sun-Times at the time, and uh, I looked up and asked my friends around the copy desk, who's Natty Bumpo? I'd never read anything by James Fenimore Cooper, and still haven't. And uh, <coughs> Nancy, who worked there, said, uh, I think he was an Indian, and uh, her husband Tom, who was the boss of the copy this time, said, "Nah, he was a scout." And uh, Nancy said, "Well, maybe he was an Indian scout." And I said, "I don't care who Natty Bumpo was. I want to be Natty Bumpo." And Nancy said, "You can be Natty Bumpo," and that's when the light bulb went off over my head, and I just started playing with the name. This is about a year before Nixon and Watergate really hit the fan, and. Uh, so, you know, my wife and I sent out some Christmas cards, Natty and Natalie Bumpo, just a, just a joke, just for fun, you know. And then in 1974, 73 was the year I passed the bar, and 1974 was the year, my name was John Dean, and 1974 was the year that President Nixon's counsel, John Dean, who had testified against him in Watergate, was disbarred. And so I and I was applying to take the pass the bar in Kentucky that same year. So I was applying to. Take, I went to the Kentucky bar examination in this fall of '74, and they called the roll out loud. And when they came to the name John Dean, the place just broke up. It was like Comedy Central, you know. And I'd walk into court and I'd announce my name, John Dean, for the defense or whatever. The judge would say, "John Dean, I thought you were disbarred." And one day, the judge said, "John Dean." I thought you were in jail, and uh, so there was, at that point, there became a reason to change my name, because uh, uh, John Dean didn't mean the same thing it had meant before. In, in effect, my name had already been changed by this other guy with the same name becoming famous and infamous, even, and uh, I don't hold anything against him. I think he did his country a favor, a service anyway, And uh, but uh, I had a reason to change my name formally at that time, and I already had a name picked out, and that's what happened.